everyone, I'm Andrea Hutzing and today we will be looking at how do I log into the virtual campus. So you just received your confirmation of registration email from the college, but what do you do now? Let's have a look at that email and then we'll take it from there. When we have a look at the email that we've received from the college, you will see that there's a lot of information and attachments to this email. I need you to go through it and ensure that all of your personal details are indeed correct. If something may be changed, please inform the college so that we can update it on our system. I'm going to skip right ahead to the bottom of my email where I can find my attachments and open up my registration letter. When logging into the virtual campus for the first time, we will need our username as well as our password. For the username, you are going to use the last five digits of your student number and for your password, you are going to use your ID number. Both of these can be found in the registration letter. My student number is evident over here as well as my ID number. But before I show you where to log in, I have to show you how to navigate to get to the login page. So let's quickly have a look at that. There's two easy ways to navigate to get to our virtual campus. The first one being just following the link that was sent to you within this email. Under number one, you will see this link. And as soon as you click on it, our website will open up and you can then just click on the login to virtual campus button and that will take you to the login page. That was option number one. When we have a look at option number two, you can go to Google and type in BMT College and enter virtual campus on the left. Once again, our website will open up, click on the login to virtual campus button and we are back at our login page. As previously mentioned, you will use the last five digits of your student number as your username and you will use your ID number as your password. So I'm just quickly going to go ahead and type in my details. And then click on log in. And voila, we are in on the virtual campus. But before you get too excited to navigate on the virtual campus and see what we have in store for you, you have to go and change your password. So where do I do that? On the right hand side of the page, you will see this drop down arrow. Click on that. Click on profile and this page will open up. You will be able to see all of your details on the left over here. This is your student account on the virtual campus. And then on the right hand side of the page, you will see another drop down arrow. Click on that and then choose change password. This page will open up and you will input your current password, which is your ID number, create a new password, confirm the new password and click on save changes. So from the second time onwards, when logging into the virtual campus, you will use the last five digits of your student number as your username, and you will use this new password to log into the virtual campus. If for any reason you cannot log into the virtual campus, it might be due to an outstanding amount on your account. Okay, so please make sure that your account is always paid up to date because if your account is in arrears, you will not have access to the virtual campus. If you don't have access to the virtual campus, you will not be able to complete your assignments on time. Okay, so always ensure that your, your um, account is paid up to date. And if you need any further assistance or any information on this, please don't hesitate to call the college. We are here to help you.